what's up virgos welcome back to zen in the void uh if you guys are new welcome if you are returning thank you you already know what it is what it will be okay these are your next 24 hour messages i'm sorry i don't mean to have like my boobs like all up in the camera okay but i'm a woman this is how we look okay get used to it for those of you who are scrambling and squirming in your seats okay this is a bathing suit and your girl is about to go to the beach okay i'm a virgo and i need some time in the in nature okay near some water okay but anyways uh i cut the deck to the uh to the to the five of wands and right there lets me know that somehow some way there's some type of conflict of brewing in in the in the galaxies okay that that's it's almost like you're avoiding conflict uh Virgo and you may be just kind of searching for purpose and in a place where you're only working on your daydreams it's like you're bringing your dreams to life I kept seeing this four of swords as well when I was shuffling and I just thought that was pretty interesting because I'm like what what is going on okay this is the next 48 I mean next 24 sorry so it could just be talking about where you're at now yeah it's all about rest and recuperation for you right now I think you're just trying to avoid any conflict and just kind of spend some time with yourself I just saw one two three on the time when I said that so it looks like we're on the right um on the right path here okay so what just popped out let me test this spirit where do you want that Boom, sideways, spirit, because you're not, spirit is funny, okay, upright, okay, so I saw this card first, second, third, yes, okay, so next 24 hours, right, there will be some type of event that's probably a bit confusing for you, maybe you won't see it very clearly at first, okay, the moon card represents illusions, um, shadows, kind of things being a little bit hidden. The need for us to rely on our intuition to see us forward because that's just what's needed. That's what the moon is, feminine energy. Um, it illuminates the darkness. Uh, it's a time where we feel like we're in the darkness and the moon is there to illuminate so that we can see our way forward. Uh, and that's the gift that the uh, moon gives us. So it's all about some type of like kind of shadowy, a murky type thing where you can't see really but we'll, we'll let, we're, we're going to clarify that a bit okay next i saw the six of swords it fell out kind of wonky but i just went ahead and put it up right um the six of swords is about walking away and leaving home like leaving something behind like actually walking away from something spirit wants me to pull the helper for this one so it must be some type of note on here that's important for you guys to receive all right let's see yeah, so you're going through a transition, Virgo, quite frankly. You're going through a big transition and you're leaving things behind. I think that makes you feel conflicted. Um, you really have learned from your past mistakes and you really just want to do better with a greater awareness. You've you've gone through trial and error, okay? You've seen, you've tried things out, you see what doesn't work, you see what does work, and it looks like you're just willing to learn and willing to further improve your life. So that's what you're doing. I feel like you don't know. Uh, the way forward for you is a little like unknown. It's a little murky, but I feel like you don't really care. You're just moving forward with what you know. I feel like you just really want to work. You just really want to build a firm um structure you know i was i know this uh mathematically scientifically uh, um and spirit wants me to share this uh for those of you who may not be aware but um in geometry um the pyramid however you want to look at it or the triangle rather is the most solid structure because the three the way that it's formed with its three sides it's literally just the most solid structure so if anyone is into um is into like uh shit words are evading me right now probably because i'm like really in channel mode but if anyone is into like building and construction and stuff like that architecture you would probably know that like a lot of people use certain um geometric uh shapes because they are solid so i feel like you just really want to build a solid foundation you really want to work on things that you find to be helpful in your life and just build on that i'm just getting an overall sense of like building for you virgo that's just what you want that's where you're at why is the moon card here please great spirit i feel like it's here because you don't see your way forward but i still feel the need to like clarify it so why is the moon card here 
So it looks like, honey, you're going to be working for the holidays. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, yeah. Like I said, okay, so the Ace of Swords came out in the reverse for the moon card to clarify it. So this card in the upright is all about having mental clarity. It's like a mental realization where if something was unknown, it's like clear to you now. I feel like in the next 24 hours, it still won't be clear to you, Virgo. I feel like spirit is either trying to you know just allow you to be in this unknown space so that you can you know kind of just like work on your strength and your faith uh or like you like honestly what i'm also getting intuitively and i don't want to make anyone overthink or worry because it's really not a worrisome thing really it's not but i feel like there's energies and conflicts out there in the world that are trying to further you know keep you in a blinded or unsure space so that you can lose your um almost like like your will and your desire you know it's like yeah because people know you got the will of fortune virgo they know it they know you have the will of fortune on your side they know you're a very fortunate person okay this is always influencing you so the reason the the fact that the will of fortune is always working in your favor people know that about you and they don't really like it. I, I, I was thinking about doing a little video where I talk a little deeper uh, and probably do like a demonics part two. If you guys haven't seen my part one, it's like back, back, back in the videos. You have to scroll because I made it last summer. It's like an hour long video really going into like kind of the basics of demonics, but like putting it in a way that's like really easy, easily digestible. Uh, so I might make a part two about that with a focus on certain signs, especially Virgo. Uh, but People know you got the will of fortune on your side. They want you to not be aware of that. I feel like people just genuinely, Virgo, if anything, people just really don't want you to see your value. They don't want you to see how great you are. They view you as competition, sadly, because you're not even a person who's very competitive. You do everything from love and from a place of service uh, and purity because that's just, you know, that's just you. But people feel like they don't either, either want you to rise higher than them or they don't want to compete or they don't want to lose you. So they want to keep you small. They want to keep you in a box uh, on their shelf looking all pretty to decorate their home. You know, it's crazy. They want to keep you in a mental prison. Okay. With that eight of swords coming out at the bottom. What else is going on in the next 24 hours, spirit? I feel like you guys don't have a whole lot going on because like you're in hermit mode protecting yourself, avoiding conflict and all that shit, right? So we got the Six of Cups. I feel like there's going to be something going on for you in the next 24 hours, Virgo, that's going to allow you to heal something in the past. Um, I'm not sure if it's a person. We're definitely going to clarify it. But it's definitely going to be an occurrence. I don't know. Like, I, obviously, if you're in hermit mode, you're probably working on healing some wounds, some things that had, that had bothered you or negatively affected you. And you're wanting to work on that in the next 24 hours. So let's clarify it. You got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That could be you showing up in the subconscious, Virgo. I feel like you subconsciously know. Like, you have this subconscious awareness and conscious awareness that, like, you have to follow your plans and you have to just you know take your time and give yourself the time and the freedom to just enjoy the journey yeah there's some heartbreak lingering in the back for you you're still healing that some past heartbreak that's what i'm getting why is the six of cups here please great spirit ah okay this tried to come out so i feel like the knight of swords right if this isn't an air sign this is someone coming towards you with some impulsive communication okay and the knights always represent someone moving towards something uh going after something right so i i just really feel like someone's gonna want to communicate with you about something it might not be that deep but the honestly it might just be i ain't gonna lie to y'all <laughs> because it's the six of cups the six of cups is about past like a past ugh, let me get the helper card out because i know how to describe it but spirit is like you know they need to hear something from your notes okay so uh let's see here let's see what we have honey i'm going to the air there's some type of air energy around you virgo Somebody who wants to talk to you about something. Yeah, someone who you're familiar with, Virgo. Someone who you may have some sort of memories with, whether it's in this life, life or a past life. So you pretty much know the person who wants to come in and talk to you and heal a situation. This is strictly about healing, Virgo. Don't think it's a past lover coming back to, to want a relationship or someone coming to spill their heart. 
uh, about, you know, I'm not sure if that's what it is because everyone's situation is differently. All I'm saying is the purpose of this communication is strictly for healing. So just like you want to heal Virgo at this time and avoid conflicts and all that shit, right? So you rather spend all your time alone because I mean, that's what I'm doing. I know y'all probably on the same stuff as y'all, you know, in the, in the vibe tribe, okay? Uh, in the void tribe let me say that uh, but anyways like they just want to heal something with you and they want to talk about it okay so that might be happening in the next 24 hours this thing could bring you a lot of happiness whether you know it or not that's the subconscious energy i don't even think you know that you need this conversation or this information uh but it's gonna come to you virgo because you're gonna be a vibrational match to receive it wow shit yeah this flew out there's a need for you, Virgo, to be very independent right now. So very much a free spirit. Go with the flow. Uh, whatever comes up for you that is is a vibrational match to you, I feel like you know that that's the thing that you want to pay most of your attention to. And you should, okay? I love this card. Uh, it's funny because this card, I was thinking about this the other day when I pulled this for you guys before the damn video cut off on me. But, um... Well, on us, honey, because we all here together. Uh, but anyways, like, child, I think about the strength card, right? I would I would pull it out the deck because that will take too much time. Uh, but the strength card, um, let me see if spirit will lead me to it. Spirit, can you lead me to the strength card? Ooh, it led me to death. I cannot. Spirit, can you lead me to the strength card? Ugh. <sighs> It was a little experiment. It's not going that well. Spirit said, don't worry about that. Okay. So anyways, on the strength card, you see this woman sitting on her lion, like kind of holding her fire in her hand. But then when I think of just going, like the strength card and this card complements each other for me because the, the Prince of Wands, it's like she finds the strength in the and the creativity, the the will, the desire to go off on her own and experience life on her own terms. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're doing, whether you're a male or a female. That's what you're doing. You're letting your light and your fire literally carry you into the unknown, right? I just saw 1212. So that's exactly what Spirit wanted to like portray so let's just move on so that's just where you are i feel like you're having an awakening you're having a spiritual awakening and you're having like you're you're healing your emotional body you're healing your spiritual body okay with this ace of cups at the bottom of the deck uh whether you know it or not that's just kind of what's going on this card uh wants to be seen so bad it flipped over but i feel like you have decisions to make about things you're in a decision-making mode, and I feel like you're just literally going with what feels the best for you, and that's what's up. What else is going on in the next 24 hours, please, Virgo? <laughs> Virgo. Please, Spirit, what's going on in the next 24 hours for Virgo? Yeah, somebody's going to be coming clean to you about some type of deception. Deception can be anything, guys. It doesn't always mean cheating. It doesn't always mean lying or stealing, but usually that kind of what it comes down to. That's what it boils down to, honey. But... I feel from this that it's just someone coming to you with some clarity. Like, look, this is what it seemed like, or this is what I was doing. This is what happened. But, you know, this could be the reason so and so and so. -so. You know, like, have you ever, I know that some of you guys have had a conversation, right? Okay, with a friend. And you may have took something personal and they told you later, like, you remember that day we went to Six Flags and I didn't want to get on any rides and y'all thought I was mad and just trying to make everybody have a bad time. Like, no, I was actually, my dog just died. So it's like, I couldn't even have fun because I kept thinking about my dog not being home and I got home. That's a random ass example. So if somebody's dog has passed away, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, my condolences to you. Uh, much love to you. It's funny because I just uh, saw a friend post her dog passing away yesterday. She's not a friend, but someone I met out here in L.A. Uh, a, um, a stylist uh, who's really good. But anyways, uh, yeah, but it's like a misunderstanding. It's like someone just really wants to come clean, like bring some, clean, some, some truth and some clarity to you. What is it referring to, though, Spirit? What is this about? Yeah, your priorities are straight, Virgo. Your priorities are so straight because I feel like you have yourself at the top of your priority list. How exciting is that, Virgos? I'm so proud of us. I just saw the Ace of Pentacles try to pop out. So you'll have a new opportunity for something very promising uh, in the next 24 hours, possibly. That's like brewing in the background. So if you stay in that energy, that's what Spirit is saying. Like Spirit is saying that you will have an opportunity. That's what I'm receiving. Uh, so we have the judgment card here or the Aeon. I feel like someone has made a judgment and they're ready to tell you about it. 
that's what's going on in the next 24 hours for you, Virgo. So that's pretty dope. This is hella clear, actually. So I don't even know if I'll need to continue this for much longer, but we'll pull some Oracle cards. You got the death card at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone really went through a big transition and I feel like they want to talk to you about it, Virgo. They want to tell you what's, what's up. So, um yeah that may change who knows but that's the predicted that's what's predicted so you know don't think about it too much just do you virgo keep you your main priority uh and you're you'll be good so let's see if spirit has anything from the oracle that i already shuffled this so i don't know why i'm doing it uh time uh, obviously because i gotta fly out y'all i'm crazy I'm ready to get to the damn beach. That's like all I can think about, honestly. Uh, but you have time. That's literally what I was just saying. It says the only time that you can control is now, literally. Uh, it says, how will I remember to take a breath and realize I have plenty of time today? You have time, Virgo, for yourself. I'm sorry, y'all. I done pressed a button on something else and it affected my phone. But anyways, like you should be in the present don't think too much about the future, Virgo, because just like that, so Raven, okay, just, just just go back in time for me for a second, right? You remember when Raven would get her visions and sometimes she would go and try to adjust things and it would, it would work half the time, but another amount of the time she would just make things worse or she would just create a problem that is unnecessary, right? So I feel like Virgo, because you have, a lot of you guys have such a gift of foresight or you're, you just, you know, you have that sense, like, some of you guys have a gift of foresight, which is awesome, right? A lot of us could if we tapped in. Uh, however, especially if you're watching tarot, like, let's be honest. Obviously, this is, if you ain't tapping into your gift of foresight, this is you getting some some predictions, right? Um, but anyways, um, my point is, uh, I feel like since you guys know what could possibly happen with this uh, situation, with this judgment call that you are wanting to be informed about by someone... Um, you need to be present. Like, don't think about it too much. Literally, I keep hearing Drake in my head. I don't even like this song. <laughs> like, don't think about it too much, too much. Yeah, I don't know the words like that. But um, yeah, don't think about it too much. Just let it happen. I just saw one, two, three all the time. How will I remember to take a breath and realize I have plenty of time today. You have time. Nothing is rushed. A lot of you guys, I think, are working on being present. I feel like you, a lot of you guys went through things that allowed you to be uh, present and patient. Patient is what I meant to say. Uh, just be more patient in life, okay? So let's see if you have any anything else from this deck coming out. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I'm just take these and we're gonna move on. All right, so it's his kindness. There's gonna be a need for you to definitely be kind first to yourself and then to others. Uh, who does? Uh, everyone deserves kindness, but like whoever is coming into your realm, Virgo, be kind to them. Okay, you can spread kindness through thoughtful acts and caring words. How will I be kind today? There's gonna be a need for you to be thoughtful and caring. I feel like you have so much love and you only need to give it in, in kindness, and you only really need to be giving it to people who you come across right now because right now I feel like you're focused on yourself. You're kind of in your own world when you go out into the world, okay? Because this is opening you up. It's like opening up an energy of like inclusion and community, okay? Be kind. That doesn't mean hit somebody up trying to offer yourself uh, to be of service or serving someone who just needs you if you don't feel like you have the time or space. Just be kind. Be kind. Even if you can't help, say, hey, just know I love you. Just know I could if I would, you know? Be kind, you know? Hope, wish people the best, smile at strangers, you know, how if, if a stranger just comes talking to you randomly and it feels non-threatening and other, be kind. Even if it does, be kind, you know what I'm saying? Take action, action. You'll need to take action on something. The bridge between wanting and having is action. What steps will I take today to change wanting into having? Like I said, I feel like that's where you guys' focus is right now, Virgo. You're tired of waiting on shit and waiting on people. You're just ready to act upon the things that you find to be important. So let's see where you are when it comes to relationships, right? And um, and partnerships and things like that, okay? Because these aren't just relationship cards. These are these have a something on there for every for everyone for every portion of your life. Yeah, I just saw triple threes. I've been seeing triple threes a lot for the past few days, and like obviously that's all about taking action, okay? And being creative too. So be creative. So you guys got Henry the Eighth. I feel like you guys get Henry the Eighth a lot. I took the I went ahead and took the book out. So I'm gonna read right from the book. I don't even know what order this is in, child. Honey. Y'all got to excuse me. 
pretend like we got some elevator music up. I'll probably put some up, honey, because I'm going to have to edit this video. Okay, here we are. All right. King of the United Kingdom from 1491 to 1547. Okay, Henry VIII was an English king who married six times. Okay, crowned in 1509, he honored his father's dying wish by marrying Catherine of Aragon, his brother's widow. Wow. By 1525, there was still no male heir. Henry obtained the first ever divorce of a British monarch to marry Anne Boylan whom he then beheaded for witchcraft. It's funny because I learned about this in uh, world history and not when I was in high school because they could they didn't have anyone to be uh, the king. So they were like, it, it was just all this mess. And then he literally beheaded his wife because she thought she was doing witchcraft, whatever. Um, but anyways, then followed, uh, then followed Jane Seymour, who gave him a son, but then died, uh, but died. Uh, then Anne of Cleves, another divorce. Catherine Howard was another beheading before his final companion, Catherine Parr, who survived. Henry VIII's love had profound implications for his kingdom, leading it to separate itself from Roman Catholicism in favor of Reformed Church of England. So, wow, it's almost like this king literally had to go through so much misery and woe until he actually got with the person he was meant to be with, who actually survived. It's crazy because it's like almost everyone he was with died, honey, until he found the right person. He had to kill people to protect himself. And I get that. I don't think that he necessarily killed them for being a witch, but I feel that, like, are you doing, are you trying to sabotage me? Are you trying to do malicious things like being a successful person sometimes it's hard to date because you have people who are envious of you and then if you back in those times honey I ain't gonna lie I might behead somebody for trying to you know fuck with me I just saw triple five so that's change you're gonna find that person that you're meant to be with who's gonna change your views this this woman changed his views from being a catholic to being um uh, to being a whole nother damn religion. So this was the one, I guess. But anyways, uh, the first quote says, act like a gentleman and you'll feel like a king. So if you act like a gentleman, even if you're not, it's going to make you feel like a better man. It's going to make you feel like a better person, whether you're female or a male. Okay, the next one for uh, my committed folks or even people who just broke up, right? It says, a rose has thorns. Cultivate kinder flowers. I feel like you guys dealt with people who were a little rough with you, a little rough around the edges. Not really your cup of tea. So now now you have to find someone who's better fitting for you okay and then the last one family and friends says loving a great deal means sacrificing a great number so all love comes with sacrifice of some form the only difference is sometimes the sacrifices will be very helpful or necessary and very conducive to the relationship and some sacrifice is needless like you're wasting your time and your energy and you're sacrificing for no reason because you're just in the wrong goddamn place okay so that's what you guys have that's where you are i feel like you guys are realizing that you need you're you're heeding the warnings like you know that you're in danger because people like you're not in danger virgo but people want to bring you fucking danger and you want to hold out for the person who is really meant for you and i think that's so beautiful virgo so you keep it on up for the next 24 hours honey because you never know who you might be hearing from. Don't overthink it, though. I ain't telling you that nobody coming in for love. I'm just telling you, you never know, honey. You are very much single and very much so desirable and creative and free-spirited right now. So that's your next 24 hours, Virgo. I hope this helped. If it did, drop a like. Okay, join the family if you're digging me. Okay, say hi to Coco. I know y'all hear her down here playing. Hey, Coco Bean. All right, bye next time.